Hi guys, thank you for joining me for Christian Education Kids Edition. So today we are in our second week of Advent. Now you may have noticed Pastor lit two candles during worship, one for the first week, one for the second week. Now, if you have a candle at home and it can be the votives that uh, Pastor passed out or had in a bin for everybody to take at church, you can light it this week as well. And the theme for this week is peace. Now, last week it was hope. Today it is peace. So Jesus brings us hope and he brings us peace. You see him dying on the cross and paying for our sins gives us grace and forgiveness. And that gives us peace and comfort in our heart. So we have peace because of Jesus, because of God's grace. It's pretty awesome. Now, we have to continue on our story of the Nativity. And we're going to continue out of the Spark Story Bible. Now, when we left off, an angel had come to Mary and told her that she was going to have a child. And that this would be a child of God. So Mary went to Joseph and told him. And Joseph was not so sure about this. So later when he was sleeping, an angel came to him and told him that in fact, yes, it is God's baby. And that he should marry, marry, marry. <laughs> and so he went back. And he told Mary that he would marry her and help her through this. And then she was very happy. Now, it was probably really hard for her because she just found out she was pregnant. And what a shock that is. But you know, it was probably really hard for him too. Because he probably at first had a little trouble understanding and maybe even believing that that baby was from God because that would be hard to believe and it would be really hard to understand. But when the angel came to him, he trusted the angel completely and he married her. So now we pick up there. We have to go to Bethlehem, Joseph told Mary. Emperor Augustus has ordered that all of the people need to be counted. But Joseph, Mary said, what about our baby? He will be born soon. We'll go slowly, Mary. Bethlehem will be crowded, so we need to leave now. So Mary and Joseph journeyed to Bethlehem, the city of David, to be counted along with all of the other people. It was cold when they arrived, and Joseph knocked on many doors looking for a room to stay. But everyone said no. Finally, an innkeeper answered his door. I have no room the innkeeper said, but you can stay in the little stable out back. It's warm and the hay is fresh. Joseph, said Mary, I think it's time for the baby to be born. That night, Mary gave birth to Jesus. She laid him in a manger and the animals kept them warm as they waited for morning. So now we're in the story where Mary and Joseph go all the way to Bethlehem, but there's no room for them to stay. And a nice innkeeper says, I would stay in the stable. So that's what they do. And pretty soon, she gives birth to baby Jesus. Now, you know what Jesus's birthday is? It's Christmas day. So when we celebrate Christmas, we're actually celebrating Jesus's birthday. So on Christmas, you can sing happy birthday to Jesus because it's his birthday. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, <laughs> almost dropped it. So now let's come back to this. So last time around, you guys, oh, I'm a little ahead here. Painted painted, colored over here with the angel, here with our first panel, and the words, the nativity story, right? This time around, we're going to cover quite a few of these panels. We're going to cover the long, long, long time that they traveled to Bethlehem. So you get to color this. And then, of course, 
Mary and Joseph in the manger with the animals. You get to color this as well. And then you get to color the panel where baby Jesus is born. Now remember, Mary and Joseph, they weren't really light-skinned like this at all. They were from the Middle East, so they actually had much darker skin than what a lot of the things that we have show. So I'm gonna make sure when I color, to color Mary and Joseph with darker skin. Because that's how they looked, because they were from the Middle East. And baby Jesus looked the same way. I'm gonna grab another darker crayon and I'm gonna color baby Jesus in. And you can't forget his toes and his fingers. I'll color a little more as time goes on. But you can color them in. And then when we're all done with Advent, you'll have the entire story done. Pretty cool, huh? So there's three panels to do this time. I hope you guys have a great weekend, a great second weekend of Advent. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. <laughs>